Hello, today we would like to present you 7 steps to follow if you want to move in UK. The first one will be to choose your city. Keep in mind, it will be the place where you will live for a while. If you have friends or family in UK, don't be shy, just ask them as much as you can about the city they are living in. Prospecting for possible cities is very important. If you don't like it at first, it's fine. In UK, you can easily relocate after a while. What you need to know is that London is the most expensive city in UK. Renting a single room is around £400, double bedroom will be around £700 a month and not really in London, it's about 4 to 10 miles outside the city of London. Now, rent is cheaper in northern side, which is Manchester, Leeds, Sheffield or even in Liverpool. Don't forget that the minimum wage is the same anywhere you go. Also check number 3 on our list, which are the rents. Getting in UK if you'll travel to UK by plane, it's very easy these days to use websites such as Skyscanner, Cheap Flights, Last Minute, Expedia or Kayak.co.uk. You can also get in UK with a train or a coach. If you want to travel by car, don't forget to book yourself a ferry. We'll recommend you direct ferrix or aferry.co.uk. Renting a place in UK. You do need a place to sleep, right? So don't leave home without knowing where you will sleep at night. At first, try and avoid agencies. It will be quite pricey, they will ask for background checks and it's not an easy process. And let's be honest, most probably you will only need just one bedroom. Gumtree.co.uk has lots of rentals ads from privates and agencies. You'll find for sure one, nothing to worry. Just don't give away money before signing a contract and making sure as much as you can it is legit. Keep your money safe. You can also find help on Facebook on different groups. It's totally worth it giving it a shot, right? Number 4 on our list will be to apply for a national insurance number. In order to work legally in UK, you need a national insurance number. It's a unique assigned number for each individual that will allow both the state and your employer to calculate your taxes. Don't worry, taxes are quite low in UK. You can find more on how income is taxed in UK on gov.uk forward slash income tax rates. After taxes, you should be able to get briefly around £1,200 a month cash in your hand. Getting yourself a bank card. Your future employer will need a bank account in order to pay you. At first, most probably, you will not be able to apply for a card with most of the banks. For this, you can get yourself a good prepaid card that comes along with a mobile app, making it easier for you to handle your money, pay your bills, send money home or buying some groceries. Works like Charm and you can definitely try these ones. Revolut, Monesi, Monzo or N26. Finding a job. It's easier than you think. At first, just take any job. You can apply on Indeed or CV Library, you'll find hundreds of jobs in there. Working through agencies with a zero-hour contract is the best bet for you. You don't really need to like it, it's just temporary, but money is a necessity. Number 7 on our list is going to be the public transport or a personal car. Public transport works in UK in any city you go. For public transport, you will pay anywhere between 60 to 200 a month depending on city, type of public transport and the distance you'll have to commute. If you want to get yourself a car, you'll need about £2,000. In UK, the insurance is not cheap. In London, it's gonna be even worse. You can find cars on gumtree.co.uk or autotrader.co.uk and don't forget at first to quote an insurance on compare the market or money supermarket.